right, good afternoon. My name is Katherine Taylor and I work with my company called Revival Web Design. This video, I, I believe I spoke with Hannah. She said the office manager was Cheryl. So what I'm going to do in this video is several things. There's going to be a lot of education. Um, first and for foremost, why we educate is that we want to let small business owners know that they do have companies out there who want to support and help grow their businesses within their communities. Why? Because that's more support for their family. It brings more workforce to the surrounding communities. And I'm a small business, so I want to support those who um, started an entrepreneurial business for the reasons of wanting to, to be able to do more and have more. And uh, the information that I'm going to go through, you can take this information and run with it, or maybe you find it valuable. Maybe it's uh, a lot of great data, but you're not sure how to implement it. So if you find that that's the case, and hopefully our services um, can help be a resource for you and put a solid place in, in position for you that is geared around your goals for your business and your budget. Uh, but either way, I want to be able to show you how you can start getting some of the same business that your competitors are getting. So we're going to cover three different areas of focus uh, to help improve your digital footprint. And that's how you today are going to get more organic traffic through your door. I mean, let's be honest, we don't have yellow pages or a, I should say a phone book. There's still yellow and white pages online, but <clears throat> right now our, our age um, is, is digital and everyone's Googling how to find different services. So what our websites bring is a level of SEO, which is search engine optimization through Google. We have our GMB, which is a Google My Business, uh, otherwise known as a citation. That's where your company name, phone number, and address, and how many times it's out there on the internet. And then we also have backlinks. And first, I want to show you a couple of things. So I do have your website pulled up. It's actually a great looking website. Um, but one of the things I want to go through first is when I type in electrician Venice, Florida, there are a number of things that we see. At the top, we have um, looks like Google guaranteed businesses. And we also have the Google My Business uh, Map Pack, which you are up here, which is great. And then down below is going to be your organic websites. And this is the traffic that you're going to see people clicking on different websites. <clears throat> um, so unfortunately, outside of the Google My Business, your business is not on the top page. And down below we have ads. Ads account for about 20% of the people who do the search. That's how they find their, their uh, particular company they're going to use is through an ad. Um, so there's a whole another 80% out there to, to, to grab. So let's look at several different things. When we talk about SEO, that is going to be content. So what's on your website for Google to find in order for that keyword search that people type into to Google to find a service, okay? Your site um, has... A good amount of information on there. Google actually likes to have about 15 to 2, 1,500 to 2,000 words per site. Um, the more content, the better. And that is how Google ranks certain sites is what, what type of value they bring from their website. And where we want our website to reflect us, we also have to have content on the page that, that is going to be part of Google's algorithms. Um, we personally use a content writer to help build content that is organic and flows and is written with keywords typed into it uh, in order for Google to find those phrases on your website. And I'll explain that to you in a few more minutes. Then we also have the Google My Business, which you're already showing in Venice. Um, but what we would want to do is outside of Venice, if I per your website, you do hit other locations is when someone else types in a, uh, another location, maybe they can find you through that. Um, but also, it's just great that you're on the first page because a lot of companies are missing that Google My Business 
Uh, and just to touch on that, you when the most when you have your name and your business out there, Google uses that to verify your company and its reputation. So it's great that you have five star reviews, and it's great that you have um, photos and whatnot out there because that's one way that Google is showing others that do a search that you are reputable and and to be used. So then the last thing I want to touch on is called backlinks. So I use a, this subscription to AREFs. This is what we do our research through. And just to touch on briefly what each of these things are, <clears throat> your UR is your actual website address. And that is the strength. So that number is the strength of your website. DR stands for domain rating, and that is the trustworthiness or the, most, or the popularity of your site. And this, both of these numbers are out of 100. Backlinks, simply put, are links from one website to another. They're not all created equal. And backlinks help push power to your site. So high quality links help Google believe that your website is strong and it's popular. Um, not about quantity, sometimes it's about quality. So if I were to show you currently what type of backlinks you have on here, you're looking for these DR numbers to be close to 100 to help push popularity and, and power to your site. Um, so we do have a number of opportunity for you to, to opportunize on backlinks. And then also in here, I remember I talked to you about keywords. You do only have one organic keyword, and that means if somebody types this in, this is how they find you, which also this organic traffic, this is how many people have found you on your website per, per month. So if we click on organic keywords, you're essentially just being found by JC and A Electrical Contractors Incorporated. Um, so what we would want to do is incorporate a lot more content that is going to be found per what people are actually searching for. So when I did that search electrician, Venice, Florida, Venice Electric is your one of your top competitors. And as you can see, they, they have a lot of con, uh, content side pages, service pages, I'm, I'm sorry, that's what we call them. And <clears throat> when we look at their traffic, they have a strong UR, their domain ratings are low, but they have a ton of backlinks. They're also being found for 46 different organic keywords, which is driving more traffic to their website. When we click on the backlinks, we're looking at, you see here, that's a 90, there's a 90, there's a 90. That's how they're getting power to that website. When we are looking at SEO, there is a cost to getting some of the higher quality backlinks. And that's one of those ticket items that can actually increase the cost of a monthly SEO package. Um, but it does help bring more traffic to your website. And then when we look at the keywords, we are trying to find out what they're being found for. So things that we look at in here is volume. This is how often it's being searched and then what position they are on the page. So when you type in electricians with that S, Venice, Florida, it's being searched 300 times a month, and they're in the fourth position. That means they're on the front page. Electrician, Venice, Florida, once again, the fourth spot on the front page. Electricians, Venice, they're number three. So as you can see, there's a high amount of people who are actually searching these keywords. And the reason why this particular company is getting all that organic traffic is because their website has those keywords and they're on the front page. So with all of that, um, it's a lot of information for you. Digest it. We covered three, just three topics in this video that can help improve and get more business through your door. So what I would just ask you, if you found this valuable, what we can do is schedule a phone call to do a deep dive so I can get a better vision, a, idea of your vision of where you want your company to go, whether it's more revenue for growth and expansion or more business for slower months. And this is also a time where you get to know me to see if we would be a good fit to, to work together. Uh, it, we appreciate feedback. One of the things that I want to know is if you found this valuable, um, it helps us shape 
what information that we're bringing to other small businesses. And then lastly, if you know of other companies that need the same information, maybe they're struggling with how, how much business they have, um, we would love to help them as well and show them how just through some quick changes on their website, uh, I shouldn't say quick, but with some changes to their website, how they can get more traffic through the door. Um, with that, um, I'm going to let you take a look at my contact information. You feel free to message back in the email that I've sent, revivalwebdesign21 at gmail.com. You can also give us a call, 757-846-0186, and I will reach out in a couple days to see if you had a chance to look at the video and then what your thoughts are behind it. Uh, so thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day, and we'll be in touch.